Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Pick Corn on Sugar, and Merry Christmas! And what better way to celebrate than to defeat Magus himself? Last time we made our way through his castle, and now it's time to go ahead and take him out before he summons Lavos and destroys the world. So before we go down and meet him, let me just go over my setup. Make sure that you have ruby vests for everybody, or at least the tabin vest for Luca. Um, you want something that resists fire. Um, you got a new thing, the Dark Mail, which raises your magic defense by five, so you might think that that's a better option, but let me tell you, it's not. Have the ruby vests on. As far as accessories, speed belts on both Frog and Luca, and for Chrono, a power scarf is perfectly fine. If you want to bring in Robo, if you have like the heal beam or something, that could be useful, but I don't think it's all that hot. And if you, if you want to bring in Marl for some extra healing or haste, that wouldn't be half bad of an idea, but I do think that the best party for taking out Magus is Chrono, Frog, and Luca. We have three different elements covered here, and um, it's just the best. By the way, if you're slow here, you can actually fight those vamps, but I never do. This is so cool. I love this. Love all the fires being lit and everything as you approach him. Love the black, dark room. God, this freaked me out so much as a kid. But here he is. Magus himself. Looks like he's summoning Lavos. And if you try to go through these fires, you can't. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, talk to him. Yeah, your time is nigh. <laughs> Like, it's a dumb frog. <laughs> and Magus has a little bit of a personality. I like it. Yeah, we got the Mazamoon for you now. What is Magus? Like, he's like worshiping. There's like a devil statue there or something. Like the four armed beast. I don't know what it is. Never really noticed it before. And here we get awesome boss music. The black wind begins to howl. Oh, I love it. You can even hear the wind howling in the background. So freaking cool. For boss time, it's Magus himself. First things first. Um, attack him. What you want to do is see what he is weak against. His barrier changes constantly. And we just need to make sure that we are able to target his weakness. Okay, only fire damages. That is what you want. Once you get the element that you want, then have Frog attack him. Frog's attacking with the Mazamoon is going to lower his um, magical defense. It's not going to change his barrier, though. Then we have to just kind of wait for it. Okay, there it is. Now use your strongest fire attack, which is Fire Sword, and have Frog go ahead and heal with the party, because we're going to need it. Yeah, dealing like 700 damage. Okay, perfect. This is what I want. He is having the weakness that I want because Luca can exploit it, and we are taking half damage from his fire attacks as well. It is fantastic. He could be casting Ice too, he could be casting Lightning too, or even a Shadow-based um, attack as well, but that's only single target, so that's not bad either. So again, um, have Frog go in, use the Mazamoon, lower his magical defense, and then wail on him. Whoa! I am getting so lucky! It's, it is seriously like a one in four chance of what element he's choosing, and he keeps on choosing fire. So, yeah, I am uh, really happy about this. He could be wailing on me with ice or whatever, and then if he does change it to ice, you could use sword stream. Um, that's the frog and chrono dual tech. Um, that would deal, you know, ice-based or water-based damage. But I would rather, like, that That takes two of Frog's turns, because you have to use the Mazamoon to lower his magical defense. Okay, nothing changed there, so go ahead and heal. And keep on going with Fire Sword. Magus has now changed his AI script, and basically he is just going to start casting whatever the hell he wants on you. You don't have to worry about resistances or anything else like that. Now you can deal just massive, massive amounts of damage to him, but... He's going to be dealing masses damage to us also. Let's see. Frog, you attack. You guys keep on going with a fire sword. Magus has 6,666 HP because he's of the devil. So, yeah. Keep on going. 
Um, we're actually good on HP. Okay, here goes with the strongest attack. So once he uses his strong attack, I want Frog to use heal. This is why heal is so important to have. Uh, holy crap. See what I'm saying there? Do you see that? Like, that is rough. Oh, man. As a kid, fighting Magus was hard. I remember we would celebrate, me and my brother, we celebrated whenever we finally were able to um, defeat Magus. And it took a lot of grinding, a lot of us kind of going back and forth um, on the same save files, a lot of strategy trying to figure out what to do in order to kill him because he would use dark matter and just slaughter us. But yeah, we're seem to be doing okay. Oh God, is he gonna use that again? <laughs> Come on, frog, use a heal. Keep him going with a fire sword. Yeah, at this point, Frog's job is healing. That's it. Nothing else, just healing so that we can survive these dark matters. It is Chrono and Luca's job to deal all the damage here. Uh, you're good. Keep on going with the fire sword. Let's have Frog just kind of wait his turn here. Okay. Hey, and we got him. Nice. Ooh. Luca learned Protect as well. Sweet. That means that her next spell is going to be Fire too. Awesome. Whew. That was rough, but I made it look pretty easy, considering that uh, I was really lucky with the AI there. What's going on here? Oh god, Lavos. That's right. Oh no. Yeah, didn't you create him? What's going on here? Oh, you only summoned him, so he was here all along. But when did he come here? No. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Yeah, it looks like we interrupted Lavos's or uh, Magus's spell and created some sort of huge time disturbance. Like, we've really just screwed everything up. This was not supposed to happen. Lavos is pissed. And Magus gets sucked away too. And we... Wait, what? Are we waking up? Is it all a dream? Is the game starting over? Where did we get sucked into or when? Oh, wait, what? It's like an alternate reality or an alternate dimension. Where Chrono and Marl are married. Oh, Looks like we're back to present day. Our own mother is... dead. Or whatever. <laughs> Marl's still the princess. Yeah. This is super cute. Chrono should be living in the castle if you married the princess. They shouldn't be living in town. <laughs> Shake him, Marl. Shake him up. Wait, what? What's going on? Maybe that was just a dream? Yeah, that was just Chrono's dream. He dreamt of marrying uh, Marl there. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Isla. Yeah, where is Magus? He got sucked into that portal, too. <laughs> No, Isla, no. Yeah, where is Magus, anyway? Oh, he wasn't there? Hmm. Maybe he got sucked into a different time period. Oh, that's right, Luca. He did say that Lavos is from the distant past, and you really can't get more distant than this. Maybe we can stop Lavos from coming. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's Kino. What's going on? Oh. Yeah. The, Lu the Larubins are the ones who are running away from the Reptites and hiding. Oh! Schoist! Well, that's no good. Let's uh, go to these northern woods. We couldn't enter them before, but now that they're... Burnt to the ground, I guess we can, although I don't see any fire here. I just see some ruins. The Larubin ruins. Oh, now I see the smoke. 
Oh, God. When did the Reptites get a chance to take Kino? Oh, God, and they're following Isla as well? Oh, man. Oh, so Isla came to find this village, and the Reptites followed Isla. That's how the Reptites found this village, and then they burnt it to the ground. Gotcha. <laughs> man, is that old man like the um, the ancestor of the Chancellor? The way that he jumps around like that? Kind of think so. They never actually say or anything. Oh, she has a point. Well, learn how to fight. You guys should all band together. You're all humans. We need the Dactyls. And the Larubans know how to fly the Dactyls, but we don't. Okay, we need to go to the Tyranno Lair, where the Reptites are. Their little hometown there. It would be kind of cool if there was, like, a Reptite town. If there was, like, a human town and a Reptite town. You know, that would be kind of neat. Go to the Dactyl's Nest, and the Keeper will help. And away she goes. Uh, we'll do our best. Oh, man. Okay, so let's try to find Isla. She's apparently going off to the Dactyl Nest. That's a hunting range. I don't want to go there yet. Let's go to the Dactyl Nest. Oh, lovely. We have to go through this crap. Oh, thank God. Oh, come on. Yeah, we've seen these guys before, but let's go ahead and check out our techs. Uh, Luca, she learned Protect. Ups and Allies Physical Defense. It costs 6 MP, so it's quite a bit. But she's working on fire too. So how I'm going to be organizing my characters is based upon their tech points. Not really their levels or anything, just who needs more techs. And at this point, Robo and Frog are both behind on techs. So that is going to be the party that I'm going to be using. And it's a pretty good party for what I have to go through right now as well. So let's just move right along. Also, something to note, at this point, you can go to the trading hut and you can get some new weapons and armors and things uh, like that from the uh, hut, but I don't want to do that yet. I want to wait until Isla rejoins the party, which really will be rather shortly, actually, because just like Frog, she's low on tech points too, so if I need to go grind news and stuff like that to get more materials, I want her in the party to benefit from that. Whoa! Okay, with that we should be through with the uh, layer here. We've came here before, we've saw it, we got all the treasure, not really much going on there. Hey, it's the Dactyls! Oh, it's so cute, it's like a smiling little pterodactyl, I think it's adorable! Hey there, Isla, what's going on? And you can still see that red star up in the uh, sky there. It's still there. It's kind of interesting between Frog's, like, old English and Isla's just, um, her caveman speak, I guess. <laughs> it's like an interesting juxtaposition there. Okay. Oh, wow! Man! She can just summon him right out of the sky! Sweet! And now we get to choose our party member, and uh, we'll go ahead and bring in Frog. Why not? He hasn't had much screen time. You can change him at any time. It really doesn't matter, anyway. Huh, looks like that thing was just flashing there. So yeah, there's the uh, the mountaintop of the Tyrannosaurus lair, um, or the, um, the Dactyl Nest, I'm sorry. Over here, we have some volcanoes and whatnot, and uh, looks like a pretty high-tech area. Otherwise, the rest of the prehistoric area is pretty nondescript. There's not much going on. What is this, though? The Sun Keep. Huh. There's not really much going on here, either. Hmm. Huh. Keep the Sun Keep in mind for later much later on in the game. Um, honestly, I do kind of feel like this time period is a 
it's just a missed opportunity. Like you have this entire area over here that they could have done something with. Maybe made like a river rapid thing or like a reptite village. Something over here. Just something. Maybe a different hunting range. Like there's so much that you can do with a prehistoric area and there's just nothing really going on there. Any way. Let's go uh, back to the town and talk to some people. See if any dialogue has changed. Oh. The red star grows strong. Yeah, we saw the red star in the sky as well. Hmm. It's not ominous or anything. A weird cry in the lava field to the east that they've never heard before. Oh. Really? Looks like they want us to go to these lava fields, yeah. And did you did you say something? What did you say? Azala. Hmm. We saw Azala before. Remember Azala? He was the one who brought out Nisbel. Yeah. Oh, this is Isla's hut. And let's go in here as well. Okay, we know about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see what the new trading items are. Oh, not you! Urgh. Sure. So we get Dream Gun, Dream go Bows, a Magma Hand, an Ion Blade, and then still just the Ruby Vests and the Rock Helms. So I definitely do want to go ahead and get the upgrades that I can. So, yeah, very, very nice. And just for my edification, I want to see if there's anybody in the meeting site, too. Hey there. Oh, well, we know that. Uh, the chief is with me. Huh. Looks like they didn't really update their dialogue either here. Yeah, 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 she's fine. Anyway. So, we've gotten all that taken care of. I'm going to do the trading for the new weapons and whatnot between episodes. And then next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we're going to be going to the Reptite Lair to save Kino. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a Merry Christmas.